Okay, this is an improvising class, how to improvise and write songs on the piano. We're going to do a, uh, we're going to use the key of C major today. And real quickly, the C major, we're going to find the middle C. It's going to be our root, and to de determine our seven notes for the scale, we're going to go root, we're going to go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, and a half step. So to define our major key, we're going to go root, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, which you recognize is just a regular do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do scale. Okay? Just a regular old scale. Okay. So the first technique we're going to learn is called a melody option. And the, the most basic one is a five finger option. The root will be our thumb. So if we're on a C, we're going to do a five finger option on the C. That's just straight up and down. Now what I'm going to do is to give it a little bit of creativity, I'm going to add a bass line. I'm just going to take my single tone of my left hand, I'm going to add a bass line here. Here's my, my basic bass line on C. Here's my melody line using a five finger pattern. If you notice, I'm not just going straight up and down with the five finger, I'm going to mix it up. Here's my little, my rhythm, my bass line. That's just kind of a straightforward approach, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this bass line, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move it up the scale of C. And, and to make my right hand melody line sound like it fits is when this is on C, my root for my melody option is on C. Bass line goes to a D, my melody option is going to go to a D. My bass line goes to an E, my melody line is going to go to an E. And an F, and a G, and an A. Go back to G. So here we go again. I'm going to give it that basic little beat in the bass line. Now I'm going to do the D. I'm going to go to the E. My right hand is going to go to the E. And the F. expand upon my bass line. Go ahead and move the camera out, Doug. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to do what they call a rocking octave or a broken octave. So I'm going to have a C with my thumb, a C with my pinky. I'm going to do the same thing now, five finger pattern. I understand that 
We're just doing a straightforward baseline with the left hand, straightforward five finger melody with the right hand. I'm just kind of going up and down to make it simple so you can see it. But this is how you create a rhythm, rhythm with your left hand and you lay over a melody option with your right. And we'll go ahead and pause it here for the next section.